Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we have Nilay here with us who has been recently placed at NEO as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us but before we talk to him let's look at the eligibility criteria given for this company. So all students belonging to the computer science and IT branches were eligible provided they had an 80% or an 8 CGPA in their 10th, 12th as well as in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Nilay and understand his experience interviewing for this company. Hi Nilay, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Thank you Chishu. So yeah, would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, so thank. first of all thank you for having me here. So uh, hi everyone, my name is Nilay and I am from VIT Bhopal campus with a CGP of 8.92. I am currently got selected for SD intern at Neo Solutions. I have also been working as like front-end developer for a while. I have done some remote internships as well. Okay. So this is what one my quick introduction. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Uh, you can now tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Sure. So for Neo Solutions, uh, we it comprises of four rounds with the eligibility criteria of 80% throughout all your 10, 12th and UG. Okay. So the, it consists of four rounds. First is your registration as well as your shortlisting. Hmm. The shortlisting is based on your CGPA. The threshold is always around 8.5 above. Okay. Also your resume. Okay. If it's like what I uh, get it from it that you should need a 90 plus ATA score resume for it. Hmm. The second round comprises a technical interview. Hmm. There is one catch that we don't have any uh, OA assessment here. Okay. They generally uh, go for your resume and then they shortlist you. For the first technical Team. So again, it's again it's comprises of like how you uh, it's on your uh, resume basis. They'll go through your resume. If you have any internship experiences, they'll uh, put you down to the internship experience. How you increase the user attention? What parameters you check and all? Okay. Again, they'll uh, go for your uh, React skills. If you are an app developer, they'll go for your Flutter, basically. Mm. After that, they'll ask for your DS equations. Mm. So for Neo Solution, what I feel you should, it's a uh, lead code medium level problem. Mm. So basically, they'll give you a uh, time. They'll You need to uh, follow your approach. He'll ask for your another approach if it is possible, that question. Mm. And along, uh, he'll test your other, uh, edge cases, whether your code is applicable for the edge cases or not okay with that once you completed your dsa question they'll go for your basic uh, computer science concepts such as dbms operating system as well hmm. so they might go for sql query or they'll the test your knowledge for me they were going for asking the normalization processes how it works and how it's practically implemented in your systems okay hmm. so this round also comprises of 30 to 40 minutes based on your resume and your skills okay then again, you have to wait for one week. Uh, they'll go through all it or your resume or your skills and they'll go for your final interview that is HR round. Okay. 
So Neo Solutions always keep the half of it. Like from first round, we started with 50 people. For second round, we are 26. Now we become 12 people. Okay. Okay. For the HR round, it's not for what we think. It's not a non-elimination round hmm. because all the people who given HR round got selected for their uh, internship. Okay. The HR round comprises of 15 to 20 minutes. Is basically all the HR questions about your family background or how you been working. Like how do you gonna stay? And all the basics HR questions they're going to ask. Hmm. So, in overall, it's a three-week process. Okay. Comprises of two technical interviews, one of HR interview. This is my interview experiences that we had. Okay. Okay. That's great. Thank you so much uh, for sharing your experience. Do you have any suggestions for your juniors or anything that you learned from your experience that you'd like to share? Yeah. So, for I'll suggest my juniors that you should keep your CGPA uh, above 8.5. Mm. That is recommended, but being a period of recession, which we saw from the R batch to our uh, next batch, so we sh- I recommend that you should be a CGP above nine. Mm. So you sh- it's maybe nine point one or nine point two, as well as you should have a good uh, ATS code resume. Okay. Sometimes people feel like if you are going for VIT portal, so we need to upload a resume. Mm. So they used to upload a normal resume with less ATS codes, mm. but some companies like Neo Solutions and other solutions. They go for a resume and ATS score as well. Okay, okay. So you should have a good uh, resume as well. Hmm. Along with your DSA, you should have a good technical skills. If you're mentioning any of your skills like front-end development in web or in app, hmm. you should be thorough with all the technical topics as well as the theories. Okay. So this is the suggestion I could give. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much for sharing your experience and for the suggestions. Thank you, Jishma. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please do like, share and subscribe. And thank you.